when I was reading up and doing thing, research for this book, I read up everything on happiness. One of the very strong evidence is happiness uh, over time in your life is sh shaped like a bathtub. Yeah. Okay. So it's very high or relatively high when you're young and then it drops precipitously in the midlife and it's really gritty and tough with a lot of responsibility and this and that and, and dealing with reality. And then you hit 55 and then it improves again. So these middle overs, the slog overs are really, really <laughs> tough. <laughs> For, for a lot for a lot of us okay and i've been there myself so it's uh, experiential and as i said much of it has to do with reality setting in okay you have a lot mm -hmm. of responsibilities you're not the rock star that you thought you were going to be or the world doesn't think you're the that that rock star everybody's busy with themselves they're not looking at you <clears throat> and um yeah so um and you're feeling like others are buzzing ahead and you, that's the midlife crisis. And very often we reach a point, Abhijit, where we don't like what we are doing, but we don't know what else we should be doing. And so you grimly hang on because there's an EMI, here there's a paycheck, you hate the person you're working for, <laughs> you know, but you, you just grimly put your head down and say, okay, I'm going to just figure this sort of one step at a time and hopefully tomorrow is a better day. And, you know, the best advice I have is what Steve Jobs gave in his famous Stanford speech, which is for, for too many days, you find yourself asking the same question, why am I here? Then it's time to do something different. And how do you do that? And this is where I talk about the need to do lots of micro experiments. Okay, you, it's rare that you sit there and the big opportunity comes. Okay. It's rare that you're just sitting there and you can think your way to your future. I think a much better way is to try a lot of things. Okay. And then see what fits. So for instance, say, well, maybe I should go join a startup, but you're a little afraid because you've got this nice fat paycheck from Microsoft. Okay. All right, fine. Can you start volunteering with this startup? Your friend left last year and she's got a little SUNY corn and so you can start spending some time there <laughs> you know, that's for you okay or something you know I, I want to go save the planet I'm going to do something in climate change fine go f find your weekends and uh, volunteer and stick your toe in the water and see is that really just a you know itch or it's something serious so you do these things and you don't have to quit your job always in order to figure out that um, so I think that's a fairly reliable um, uh, way I have found because I've made many such transitions, um, often intentionally, and you try things and you figure out uh, what works, what doesn't work. And then one day the, the big door will open with a welcome mat and yeah, you walk through it.